you would okay so you would go cycle Now you can do that, or I should have these. So that's telling me there's a bicycle lane in the section. So come out, drop down the tab. And it's telling me there's a bicycle lane in the area. Well, yes. So the next thing you do is um, tactical urbanism 101. So now these, hopefully, these are a little bit more terrain conforming. Non terrain conforming, that's the only problem with these. So. Space every two meters, should able to get every three meters on those. Relative angles, fine. Plate turn prop anarchy on. My God, catches, this gets a little, whoopsie. So yeah, we're doing a little bit of micro detailing at the moment. The disc is a demonstration of what you can do using props and that to give. Now in this instance, we also allow it to go around. It's going to be a bit on the bit of a tighter one. Okay, and then we will repeat it on the side. Now, in theory, this work should. Also do that. So you would come around. I'm actually going to stop it there for the moment. The reason why I don't want to continue with that, I'll just put in the second bikeway sign. Um, and I'll show you why in a, in a moment. See, you've got all these lovely bike, lovely biking pieces. Okay, so I don't need a bike lane ends. I need. Let's try that again a little bit. Bike lane. So bike lane here. Bike lane ends. Technically, it doesn't end. Oh, I hate when I do that. It's like a whoop. So I'll chuck in this one too. Now 
Actually, technically it's going the other way, but... So that would actually... That's actually technically the wrong one. I like those assets a little bit better than these large plonkers. So, yeah. So, Tactical Urbanism 101. In reality, this would not cost much money. Well, it shouldn't. Now, before we continue on, so you've got that. So I'm going to need the line marking tool. So we need to, for him to come round. Okay. Oh, not bad. Not bad, Tim. Okay, a little bit. Those are a little bit out of whack, but they're not going to cause any alarm. Okay, and this would come round solid. I would also bring this round to... Uh, Technically, you would also end them there as well. So if you were to repeat the same. So this one's a little bit easier to do. So your tactical urbanism's disappeared just a little, has overtaken it a little bit, but I'm not overly worried. Uh, it's a solid. Okay, so. Now. See, they've got crossing points. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it would certainly beat 30 degrees. Well, it's actually currently 22 outside, and it's not even 9.45 a.m. Okay, so we're just doing a bit of 101 tactical urbanism, so I'm, no doubt I'll make a video for this. This will be made as a highlight. So... And that should, um, to be honest, that should be a... Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Someone's actually, um... Oh, nice. That should really be a double dash. Ha, <laughs> you ain't gonna see squat with that one, Tim. Yeah, that should be a double dash, and these would be... Well, no. Eh? <laughs> Whatever. Nice to see those. Ah, 
I think the music suits my mood at the moment because I'm like going, huh? Probably because I'm not the biggest fan of them being used here in the home city and it's like, huh? Yeah, what? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. Sure. We'll do it for this intersection, but for the rest of it, I'm just going to look at it real funny and go, Yeah, what? Because I've never been a fan of it because they give the wrong interpretation here. They're not the same as what they are in the Northern Hemisphere. And it's like, eh. And despite the fact you can't add them in that direction, it's like, Huh? You what? Anyway, so with the tactical urbanism, that's there. So the next thing needs to be done. So we're just doing a thing with a little bit of tactical urbanism. Sorry. So if you're looking for me doing macro builds, um, you're gonna be out of luck for the next little bit. This is like, because this is a good lesson. Whether you're building an extension to a city, a new city, or retrofitting a city, game or real life. So it's like, yeah. Okay, so the next thing we need is a bit of a brain fart moment. Ah, yeah. I wonder if they... Oh, okay. No, they're not going to count as those. Um, cone? Nope. What do they call them? Delineators. Is that part of the industry's DLC? Delineated post for guiding traffic. Sweet as. So we will use these. Because they're a little bit less offensive than... That. And what we will do is go around. Make sure this is still on. Prop anarchy's on. Da, da, da. Two meters. Or do we need to go through? No. Let's go three meters and see what happens. I can always adjust it from a standing... St no, two meters is going to work. So we're going to just be very... Okay, so... Again, continue with the... Somebody tells me they're going to be... They are above the ground. So this is, this is like... Oh, do I have to individually... Right, that's just so you yeah, see those have conformed shadows they will always be raised above the ground and they are as well so it's like uh, um i am just wondering if because we do the terrain is technically a bit lower i wonder if we can Okay, let's back out of that. Let's go down. Or is it just going to do the same? I think it just raises the whole thing up. Yep. So the way around that would be to prop anarchy every single one. Like this. Well, you can, but you wouldn't. Okay, so that's that done. So now you would do a lane ends. Um, you can switch that over. One. Okay, so that's those. I uh, will put that in in a minute. It's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, okay, so that would be... Uh, 
now that has a different UK meaning but it also has in our terms so in the UK it means left turn ahead in New Zealand this means left turn only it's a compulsory left turn It means I don't need to put in no straight ahead or no right hand turn. That's it. That's the deal. So this. So if I was to come down into prop anarchy again. Yep. Left hand turn on it. That's all you can do. And if I really wanted to do so. I could do. Get a chevron. and put it right in there and go and piss off all the pedestrians on the way out technically this one would be i don't want it too close to the tram so again come back out come down that's all you need no, I don't I think the street lighting is a bit crap in this area too. But you don't know that until you go into nighttime mode. So the last thing it needs is yeah, dun, dun. Now this one I prop it I So convert to PO Oh crap. Okay, never mind. Let's just demolish this. Oi, I said demolish. Oh, okay. Can we get move it on it? Nope, I have it did it did flip. Sweet. Oh, okay. Oh, that's because I've clicked the wrong thing. Okay, so hang on a second. Thank you. We go back to PO. Move. Edit. Text customization. Yeah, what? Oh, really, game? Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, okay. Um, well, crap. That ain't going to work. I'll show you why. Because the signs flip the wrong way. Okay, so that ain't gonna work. We'll try that again. Because you definitely want. Well, I could use this one, but that's a bit of an overkill to use another. To use that, really. Convert to PO. I was hoping that wouldn't. Edit. Text customer. Well, that sucks. That absolute. That wasn't like that before. So, yikes. That means, um, hmm. I'll just have to leave it as is, which is a bit annoying and a bit sad, because it doesn't line up with that. Technically, you can't see it anyway, but fine, whatever. So yeah, welcome to Tactical Urbanism 101. I've just only done one side of the road. 
but it nonetheless Is there a speed limit sign in there? There is not. Ooh. So one last item to do. Bingo. Thank you. These are exotic. Normally they would be for one for each lane, but given the size they are, it's like, <laughs> I ain't think you're going to miss that one, team. Not by a long shot. Okay. So... Let's just go back to our bit of tactical urbanism 101. So I'll take this off. We'll take a picture of this. It's ironically. Oh, that's going to take a moment. those pillars are not conforming it's fine I'll deal with those in the minute with move it okay so it's an overview so because we've got the square about we've got two lane it's a bike lane bus lane 40 k's an hour some tactical urbanism Left turn only, some delineators, and around it goes. And then the tramway continues. So, Tactical Urbanism 101. Right, let's take a save, and let's get back to building. Because we've basically just done a whole hour on tech urbanism. Woohoo! So that means the trams won't be conflicting with a what will be become a very heavy intersection. It's also technically a square about too, which filters the traffic. Well, that, um, as well. So I don't know what's causing. Hmm, interesting, that's not conforming, but lucky I can just go, just do this, uh, lucky I don't have to do it to many of them, otherwise it would be a bit of a womp, so there we go, so you can see the square about, 